Hello everybody, this is Dino GTO and this is my one of my games I'm gonna show off in the IKV sixty five. I think it's called Alt Two, but it just says IK sixty five two uh in the name. And yeah. Um I <laughs> just noticed my T D fifteen missions there. Uh caused the six thousand damage and HP to uh enemy vehicles. Yeah, that's not happening at tier six. Uh yeah, that's that, that's not easy to do at tier ten and it's especially not easy in something like a Jagdpanzer E100, which is, um, kind of, um, yeah, I'll, I'll cover that in a different video. But yeah, this is the Tier 6 Swedish Tank Destroyer. I have a 90% camo crew on it. I do not have, uh, what do you call it? I do not have, um, what do you call it, the paint job? Uh, I don't have camo on it, like, um, T37 over there does. Uh, let's see. Here's one of the things about this vehicle. It's reasonably quick on flat ground, but its lack of engine power means it's a bit crap at climbing hills. I mean, this is a pretty steep hill. Yes, it's a pretty steep hill, but it's still not exactly a speed demon when it comes to climbing hills like this. And if those Cromwells had have just rushed up the hill there a minute ago, they would have spotted me and I would have died right there. But fortunately for me, they didn't, and this is what's going to allow me to do most of my damage in this game, I think. I can't actually remember, it's been a wee while since I actually played this game. But yeah, first shot, 250 damage. I am just sitting here, I do not have 6 cents. I have no idea if I've been spotted or not. Probably was, considering the Cromwell's looking right at me. And that was a terrible shot, <laughs> I don't even know what the heck that was. Uh, let's see. I can't actually see if he's looking away or not. He takes a shot, puts it into me. Um, yeah. Luckily, I'm able to trade a Cromwell reasonably easily. Uh, do do a bit all the way mean and hit him. Do take a shot from the Stair Waffenträger, the uh, Tier 7 German TD. It's not the 25 the one that's not overpowered. Um, yeah. Let's see. Oh, uh, yeah. And uh, by the way, I should just mention those things make playing anything that doesn't have armor a total nightmare those things i fucking hate those things the e25 i'm talking about if you didn't realize yeah those things are a nightmare i hate a war game and keeps putting those fucking things on sale it frustrates me to no end but yeah uh just gonna work away at uh, killing this cromwell on the t37 they kind of pushed forward and then didn't really push forward fast enough then the t37 is going to come forward and the T37 kills both of those guys, actually. I thought I killed one of them, but I guess not. Whatever. Uh, Stare weapon triggers over there. That was pretty unlucky. Like, this is 0.34 accuracy. I think this guy's engine was knocked out. Because he's just kind of sitting there and doing nothing. And that is a bit of a problem with the Borsig, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's what happened to him. So, yeah. Uh, got a shot in him. 1400 damage right now. Um, gonna try and head up here. Try and get from spotting out if I can. AT-15 is over there. Nothing I can really do versus that until he shows me that kind of angle, in which case I can do something. This is 180 pen, but that's got 220 or something front ar frontal armor, and yeah, that's not happening with a gun that has 180 pen. Even with the heat rounds, that wouldn't happen. Heat's only got 230 pen, I think, so I'll just double check that. Uh, yeah, 230 pen, 240 damage, so yeah. Um... Gonna have to, uh, this is just what you do in tank destroyers, you have to kind of be a wee bit more passive, and luckily for me, the T-30, T-71 is spotted. And honestly, I half expected the T-71 to run away immediately, so it was kind of shocking when he didn't, and so I just turned and push out into him. Um, may as well. Yeah. I've had that happen to me a couple times recently, actually, where I've been looking at a target and just thinking, ah, it'll be gone in a second, no point in me even naming that. And I wait, like, 10 or 5 or 10 seconds and they're still sitting there, I'm just like, yeah, I'm just going to take a shot and there's a person here and then kill them. <laughs> so, if, yeah, I don't know what the heck's been happening, but it's weird. He's only one just kind of hanging out back there. Second another shot into him, track him, in the open, gun in the air. going to try and stick another shot into him. Luckily, there's a wall behind him, so I can actually shoot him uh, with uh, relative accuracy, so... Yeah, if you didn't know, if you aim at the horizon, the gun actually aims at that point on the horizon, so that's why 
uh, the gun was a lot oftentimes missing. That's why tier 10 mediums are so effective with APCR rounds, because APCR effectively travels in a flat trajectory, so aiming wherever the hell you want, and you will typically uh, hit things, even if you're aiming at the horizon. So, yeah. Uh, go make use of some of the speed this thing has. It's not the fastest thing ever. It does have kind of a problem with horsepower, as I mentioned earlier. It just, it, it struggles a bit in terms of getting around sometimes. So, yeah. Uh, there is a Tiger 2 remaining on the enemy team. He is over there. I was thinking initially I could get over there and potentially cut some shots into him, but then I noticed there's a rock here. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty sure that that rock pretty much shields him. Like, the only reason I can see him here is because I'm in third person. If I had been actually aiming with the gun as low down as it is on this tank, I wouldn't be able to shoot him. And it's gotten to the point already where it's pretty much not worth me even trying to shoot him because he's just lost so much health so quickly. And I wouldn't have been able to climb that uh, hill fast enough to get, enough to get a shot into him. At this point, I'm asking for help, and I think the artillery says yes, he's going to help me. Uh, AT-15A is still alive, and still, as far as I remember, is at pretty much full health. Uh, except for that one shot I put into him. So, yeah. That's a th over a thousand health, and I am in, I am, more oh, well, 800 health, over 800 health, just about. Uh, I am in a tank with absolutely no armor at all, so I'm having to be a bit cautious, and luckily enough, M44 completely derps a shot. Uh, that guy gets killed by a tiger too, lucky for me. Um, I do load the hate round because I know for a fact I can't do shit versus an AT-15A, because I think, if I remember right, AT-15A actually has stronger armor overall than the AT-15 at your rate. So, yeah. Uh, that was a heat round, a bit of a scumbag, I know, but you have to, you have to. Uh, I am reversing away here. I can actually reverse as quickly as he can go forward, so that's kind of funny, and that was a pretty stupid shot, honestly, and I did make a pretty big misplay by not just reversing away immediately, and I stopped for another shot, I'm not entirely sure why I did that either. Honestly, I should have tried to reverse around there, but I guess... I guess at that point I was thinking, yeah, I'm dead, and no way I'm getting away from him, so, yeah. Uh, I guess that kind of makes sense, thinking about it. So, yeah, uh, AT-15 is going to move forward, trying to get away from the Indian Panzer. Uh, it's kind of funny, seeing an uh, seen, uh, AT-15 uh, try to run from the Indian Panzer. <laughs> he bounced a shot from the Tiger 2, he probably got killed Tiger 2, actually. Nope, didn't get there. And the Indian Panzer finishes him off, so... Overall, an alright game. Kind of a shame that I died, but I did get ballsy, and I did get some spotting damage from the artillery, kneeling him. And I got some spotting damage earlier from, I think, the tracking shot on the uh, T-71. And some spotting damage from the M44 as well, so... Actually, didn't do, too, didn't do too badly overall in that game. 3 kills, 2600 damage, but yeah. Um, I should probably save that for the post-game stats, but eh, whatever. Uh, I'll see you in a minute. Now that I mentioned the post-game stats, I should probably show them, so yeah. See you, man. Okay, so as you can see, this was an ace tanker and a tank sniper, a medal I very, very rarely get. Honestly, because I don't really play long range tanks all that often, and yeah, it's nice to get one every now and then. But yeah, 2700 damage, or nearly 2800 damage, 3 kills, 1250 BSXP, and top of the team. So yeah, I was pretty proud of that result actually. Um, I hadn't really been doing all that well in this tank. I've been doing all right. I just hadn't really clicked him. Uh, at that, at the for the most um, part, this was one of the um, later games I played in this thing when I was grinding through, grinding through it a bit in the uh, times two event. And after a while, I think this thing is actually not too bad of a tank. I think it's actually kind of fun to play. And the one issue is the reload. The reload is so long. The reload is so long for a 90mm gun. I think it's got like 1400 DPM. That's pretty abysmal, but... Overall, it's not too bad in terms of mobility. Yeah, it's engine parts kind of crap, but yeah, what can you do? There's always something. So, yeah. Um, overall, pretty decent little machine. It does have a couple of issues. Main, mainly, as I said, the uh, engine and the um, rear fire, but for the most part, it's okay. Uh, nothing really. That's n nothing really that makes it awful, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. Um. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.